Hey, I'm just Vosco and this is The Sims. Now, in this episode, we're building a barn conversion. I've gone ahead and built like a small farmhouse with a barn next to it and I wanted it to feel a bit neglected and overrun. And so I'm just giving you an overview here, nice and smooth, as you can tell. Um, now we're going to jump in. I, I'm ignoring the farmhouse for the time being. That's that. Um, I was going to do the farmhouse and ignore the barn. Um, but I've actually gone the opposite way. We're going to do the barn first. I want it to feel like two separate buildings, in all fairness. Um, if I had the ability to... Remember in the apartment life, you could set um, different buildings for different people. So one family would live in there, one would live in the other. So that's what I want to do, but I, I don't think that's a possibility in The Sims 4. If it is, please let me know in the comments below. That would be lovely. Um, so we're going for quite... Well, initially my thought was, let's go really modern, it'll be a nice modern barn conversion, and that's really not how it's turned out. I've got this habit of going, yeah, we're going to go modern, and then I go, no, then I sort of add clutter and make it feel lived in, and that's exactly what's happened here. Um, what, one of the biggest issues I found recently of doing the Sims builds that I've been doing, I forget to include space for a bathroom. I have absolutely no idea why. It, I just get to a point and I go, Oh, wait, wait a minute, where, where's this going? And you'll see later on in this build, um, I do the same thing. I decide that I'm going to squeeze the bathroom in downstairs and it just ruins the whole field of the building. So we actually extend the upstairs uh, in the end, which is one thing I need to keep in mind when building in the future. This build was quite interesting because the build was already there. I'm just trying to fit everything a modern day family needs into into the building. Uh, we do add one tiny extension, which is like a utility room. But apart from that, the actual building structure stays the same. We change the, the windows and things like that. We get a lot more natural light in there. I want it to feel like a family lives there and it's been loved. And um, furniture has been added over the years. Like I look around my house and the furniture doesn't match. And that's because I've bought bits from different times. I've had um, someone's given me a piece of furniture which doesn't go, but I use it and... That's the idea event by the end of... By the time I finish this build, that's what it feels like. Um, at this point, where I'm putting these stairs and that in, I, I, I've i still got the modern image in my head. <laughs> Even though I'm going for these windows, which aren't modern, I just thought they really mimicked the original barn windows. Uh, we do go for a bright wooden floor there. It's amazing how bright that floor makes the room feel. It felt really dingy in that, in the end. I do leave the the um, plants out the front here. I quite like how they turned out. They were supposed to look overgrown, but I actually like it. Um, I was deciding, at this point, I, I, I'd considered keeping the barn door, which is actually a pet door that I've just enlarged massively. Um, it was the only thing that really reminded me of a large barn door. And it works really well um, as a decorative piece. I'd imagine if a pet were trying to go through it, it would look ridiculous. Uh, but eventually we do remove that door and put windows in there. Uh, because I'd imagine an old barn door would be quite drafty. So we do replace it with big windows. I try to keep as much of the stone wall, uh, stone wall showing in the... I want... I want it to feel modern and redone, but still keep some of the features. And this lovely stone wall would be one of those features. At one point, I end up painting the entire room. I'm not really sure how I did that, but I didn't intend to do it. So um, at some point, you're going to see the entire room go one color. And then eventually, I do change it back because I realize, wait a minute, why have I done that? Um, I always start with the kitchen. I don't know why. I feel like the kitchen is the home of a build. Um, when I go around to see my family, you tend to hang out in the kitchen. You, you, you stand in the kitchen, you sit in, if there's a dining room table in the kitchen, you might sit in the kitchen. But it tends to be the place where you, you congregate. Um, so I feel like the kitchen is the home of the house. And I think that's probably the most important part, in my opinion, of a, of a build, is the kitchen. It needs to feel used and loved and, and welcoming. And especially this kitchen, because the front door actually leads straight into the kitchen area. Uh, which was a uh, which was a a decision I I wanted um, I chose to for the door to lead into the kitchen one because I wanted a a area where they could remove their coats and shoes uh, this is a barn after all so we'll have imagining it in the country so they're gonna have messy shoes um, I'm just gonna stop a minute because I'm trying to find war units which go with these units 
and there isn't any. They they just don't go. And I'm like, ah, why give me give me a, a, a set of kitchen units that don't have war units to go with it? I'm quite glad I didn't go with war units in the end. I think it would have looked too much. I really like the fact we've got we can really see that wall. We get some shelves on it eventually at some point. Um, and we do put an island in which so there's plenty of storage space for living there. Like rather than having all the cupboards on the wall like you would in a normal house i've put extra units around the wall plus the island so there's plenty of storage space you don't really need those wall cupboards it, it, at this moment i was thinking of a nice nice brand new fitted kitchen and that's not what we end up with at all we end up with a lived-in kitchen with bits of pieces around i love i love clutter it just makes the building feel lived in. I'm still working on these wall units. They will go, I promise, because that looks crap. Uh, <laughs> um, I want more clutter in the game, if I'm honest. It's like you get the shelving units, which have got pieces attached to them, like a vase and so-and-so. -and, -so, and it looks really nice, but I want those, those that vase and that other piece separate so I can dot it around the house and things. That definitely needs more clutter. Obviously, we've got the custom content I can use. I'm, I'm still not sure on whether to use custom content. Like, if I did use it, it would be a very small amount of clutter, um, cluttered items and things like that. I don't want it to take away from the main game and, and the DLCs and things like that. Um, obviously, if you've got an opinion whether I use uh, custom content or not, please put it in the comments below. Um, here I'm just sort of getting the kitchen utensils and things like that out. I'm still searching through the, the using the search bar. Which is a thing I, I, I shouldn't do really because I don't actually know The Sims well enough to know where everything is and what's in it. So I, I do get it. I'm going to get into the habit. You'll see later on that I put a load of stuff outside in the garden which um, I then use in the house. And that's basically, I've gone off camera, I've gone through everything and gone, oh, I like the look of that, I like the looking at that. I don't use it all, but it's things that I might use. So I just put them all in the kitchen, uh, in the garden, out the way. Um, and then when I need them, I can just grab them. And you don't have to sit there and watch me go through menu after menu after menu after menu. Uh, I think that's a good way of doing it. Now, that wall piece there with the planting on, I love that. I don't like it as an as a single piece but when you sink it into the kitchen units with that above imagine herbs growing in there that would be so cool when you're cooking you could just go over and grab some of the herbs you want i actually want one of those in my house uh sadly i live in a normal british house with no space so this this kitchen looks absolutely huge compared to what we're used to over here um i'm trying to decide on some sort of divide and I go through many iterations of divides. Obviously, you saw me put the half wall in at the beginning. That's gone out. Then I was considering that sh that standy up shady thing. Uh, that's gone. Uh, I do eventually decide on some sort of divide. I don't think it's at this point. I think it's further back. I, because I got to the point where I thought dividing the dining room and the kitchen off, probably not the best idea. Those two rooms actually fit really well together. And I'm quite happy with the dining table. I've gone for a mixture of chairs. Uh, almost like two of the chairs are very farmhousey. they feel and I think that fits with the actual building um, but then we've also got some modern chairs like a set of chairs it's almost like they bought a set it wasn't enough um, but they did have these two older chairs so they've included those in again we're going with a divide there and ah, maybe I could use this and again I decide no that's not quite right and it's because I keep looking to, at two modern things I will get out of the habit of that uh, we've definitely, this is where I add the the utility room on. I keep forgetting I've got uh, washing machines and things like that. I didn't even include them in the last build because I didn't consider them at all. Um, this build I have considered them. I, I go and put some modern cladding on the wall outside here. Which in my opinion is 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 awful because this wall is beautiful it's an old stone wall it's lovely um, and looking online I've been looking at a few examples of barn conversions and they do put this wooden this modern wood look on it and I think yes it looks nice but surely the beautiful stone wall is much better so I don't actually do a lot of that wooden cladding I think I do a bit on the front a bit more and that's it so you get a mixture of old and new um, the utility room I'm loving. I love like you've got this little area you can put your shoes and coats and hang those there and then the other side we have all the the, the laundry day stuff. 
Um, so yes, uh, I'm going to try and actually talk all the way through this video. It's something I don't do because I feel like I'm telling you everything that I'm doing on the screen and your eyes can clearly see that. Um, but personally, I do prefer watching videos that have commentary all the way through. And this way I can tell you my thinking behind things and things like that. Uh, here we're just trying to get a nice layout for, so it feels like it's a nice storage area as well. Those two units with the towels in don't actually stay, we get rid of those, uh, but we do put some towel units in if I'm correct. I think we got like shelves with towels on. Uh, one thing I actually would really like in this game, you get the, the, the swabs, the colour swabs. I want separate colour swabs, I know that's like, ideally I want the colour wheel back, but that's never going to happen in all fairness. But what I really would like is... You know, like a bed. You take a bed and you've got the wooden frame and you've got the bed in. Well, every colour swab has a different colour wood and a different colour bed in. Okay, that's fine. But what if I want the green bed in, which is with the black bed, but I want that with the white bed? I'd love to be able to do that. I'd love to be able to just go, I want that colour for the wood and that colour for the bed in. You you can, I, not be funny, it wouldn't make a difference to them they could just put extra swabs in so for every color bed there is they could put a swab for each color bed in if they wanted to go that way okay that adds a lot more swabs uh, i personally would just prefer a choice of bed swab and then bedding swab something like that but not being funny that can't be hard for ea to put in i would really like to see that it would give us such you know when you got that bed in that you really love but the actual bed color just doesn't go with the build you're doing <laughs> Here we're just going to get some nice big modern windows in, let some let loads of light into the building. The light acts really weird in this game, especially when you've got this open floor thing going on. If you noticed on the walls and that upstairs, it's really dark. But in, in reality, it wouldn't be. It's just because the game sort of sees that as a separate room, so the light that's flooding in downstairs doesn't transition upstairs. Uh, here we're just starting to put lots of... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, here we're just starting to put lots of clutter around. I love my clutter. You will notice this with my this build, my previous builds. Actually, last the last build I did was the the three tile wide challenge, and there was not much clutter in that build at all. And not being funny, that's because it was a three wide build, and there is no no space to put clutter. Uh, you can you can't live with clutter in those sort of builds. But in a normal build, I'm going to put. I just feel it makes it feel lived in, and that's what I want. It needs to feel. I want more items to put on those shelves and things like that. Yes, I don't have all the the DLCs and game packs and things like that, so that's probably not helping. But I am slowly building up my collection. Lack of money, it comes down to. As I get some spare money, I will add more packs to my game. I've actually just added um, a couple of packs after recording this, so we should see some more items being used, hopefully find some more clutter. I was trying to figure out what that was, but it's a bed, isn't it? Uh, that's the Murphy bed. It's a really nice, like, big unit. There's not actually a great deal of big units in the games. There's a lot of bookcases and that, but I'm on about just, just units you put... Units you put um, ornaments on and vases on and things like that. Maybe some of the bookcases without actual books on it. <coughs> and The Sims actually doesn't... I'm, this is just uh, something I've realised now. Uh, here we go again with the divide. This one goes in and um, again doesn't stay. The divide just isn't happening. Um, I really like the, the desk under the office. I love that little divide thing there, which makes it feel a bit closed away, but not. Um, I put some a shelving in and a couple of pictures. I think I want it to feel used, and it does, in, in the end, feel used. Um, I'm still getting used to the furniture. Can you tell? I'm going, oh, what would go well with this? And I really, I go with this modernish sort of office chair in the end, which does really fit in nicely. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I, my, my thought, sorry, getting off topic. What I was saying is they they don't do DVDs or or a lot of modern items in The Sims, like loads of bookcases. And in in fairness, I love bookcases and I'm going to use lots of bookcases throughout my builds. But in reality, how many people have lots of bookcases in their house? Not a lot. 
Um, luckily, I go for these quite quaint little cottages, which I'd imagine the people who live there have read a lot over the years, and they've got these little nooks with these books in, so it works in my favour. There's a lot of bookcases, but I would like to see some more ordinary units, just display units and things like that. Um, obviously, we don't have to worry about CD racks anymore, because CDs are a thing of the past. Here, I've decided I'm going to put a fire against that divide, which looks even worse. And I think it's at this point I get rid of it. No, it stays there. Apparently that divide's staying there for a bit longer. I'm trying to find a sofa I like. So this is the issue. I spend most of my time whilst building trying to find something I like that will go. I'm really happy with the kitchen at this point. The kitchen is lovely. It's a bit of a mixture of styles, but it works in my opinion. And then I've realized at this point I don't actually have anywhere to put the bathroom because upstairs is only big enough really for the, the, the main bedroom. So I go, I know, I'll just put it this end. But it ruins that giant window on the front of the building. It just makes no sense to that at all. And I'm going to continue building it. It's going to be a while till I realize that. But the good thing with The Sims 4, and it's something I've never ever used really whilst building in Sims 4. And now I realize why it's a good thing. You can actually pick the room up as it is and move it. So you don't have to rebuild it. I just pick them up eventually and move them to their new location. <coughs> Excuse me. That's really nice feature. Um, I always thought it was a pointless feature until now. I've gone, oh, actually, actually, I do, I do need that. In the bathroom, we're going to go really modern because I want it to feel like the building was actually... Uh, the barn's been converted into a really modern building, but the people who live there aren't really that modern. So they don't really stick with the whole modern look. And obviously, in a bathroom, you've got no choice. You, you, you go with whatever the fixtures and fittings are, and that's exactly how it is. But the rest of the house, it's your furniture and things like that, which really, it's the furniture that determines whether it looks ultra-modern or not. And this family really don't care about ultra-modern. And it, that really shows. It's like, in a, in a bit, I do a little snook. Um, as I'm calling it, which is like a little cosy area just outside the bathroom. Well, the bathroom is actually exactly where the bathroom is, and I want it to feel like they spend time there with their child, and that it is just a nice little family environment in the corner, um, rather than in the living room where you would have guests and stuff over. This is their area. No one else goes into that area, and that's what I want it to feel like. And I'm, it's probably one of my favourite areas in the house, if I'm honest. But we haven't got to that point yet, so let's get back to the bathroom. The bathroom I'm going to keep quite simple. Um, there's not really a lot of bathroom clutter I found. I should find more bathroom clutter. That's one thing we do. Because if you think about your bathrooms in your houses, um, some of you, not all of you, some of you will have it closed away behind cupboards and that, but then you would have cupboards. So we need a few more bathroom cupboards maybe, or you'd have it on display in baskets and things, so you'd see all these bottles of shampoo and conditioner and... Um, waxing strips, I don't know. Uh, probably not waxing strips, that's probably not something that needs to be in the game, but you know what I mean. Um, every now and again you'll see me dart off to another room like I just did then, because I find a new piece that I like and I want to use. Um, and this is all down to me not knowing what's in the game and where to find it and things like that. It's like I find it really weird, you've got two clutter things really, you look like Kitchen utensils, for example, a pot with kitchen utensils in. There are some in one menu, but there's also some in a different menu. If you do it like I'm doing here from the rooms, and you pick the item in the room, they seem to be in two different areas, and I don't understand why that is. But anyway, this is actually my first child's bedroom that I've built. I really, really, really don't go into children's bedrooms on The Sims. I tend to build for single parents or uh, single single parents. They can't be a they can't be a single parent without a child, can they? I tend to do it for single adults or um, a pair of adults, but no children. Um, I really enjoyed looking at the kids' stuff. I'm not going to lie. There's some really fun things in the kids. Do I want more units and things? Yes, but it's the way of games, really, isn't it? Whatever they give us, we're always going to want more. But that's the way it is. Um, yes, I would like a few more units and that. I love all the toys in that. In that. I think they're really nice. 
and the little like that plume decor there and I'm not over keen on the rug I have to admit I put the rug in and even now I'm not over keen on it but it just feels like a really cute bedroom that the parents have put some effort into to make it sweet for the kid and like the little sticker of the cat there so it looks like it stood on his toy box and that lovely really really enjoyed doing this so I expect to see a few more um, children's bedrooms in the future and I really, like, I tend to build on The Sims and not actually play The Sims. I don't play the life for The Sims. And it's something I should do, really, because a lot of these items that I use to build with actually have um, things to do for The Sim. Like, they can go into them, they can use them, and I don't see any of that, and I really should. I test it to make sure everything's usable where I place it, um, like my three wide house uh, on the video how I've laid out the bedroom doesn't actually work so before I've uploaded it onto the the sim store or whatever you call it the library thing um, I actually went through and checked everything worked and the bedroom didn't so I rearranged that so it's slightly different in the version that you download if you want to download it's it's there it's under the hashtag Ros uh, just Roscoe type look for ha hashtag just Roscoe and then all my builds have come up there's not many at the moment. I've only just got back into The Sims. And this is the point I decide I hate those bedrooms at the front there. One, because of that window. Two, you end up with that weird ceiling bit that you can't actually get to. Imagine the dust that would build up on there. So we decide we're going to move them. I think I probably cut off at this point. Because <laughs> I get a bit frustrated with furniture. Like the living room, I just couldn't make it work in my head. I want a nice corner sofa and at this point, I don't know if I get any in future packs, at this point there isn't actually any corner sofas. Do you remember in The Sims 3, you had a sofa that, that, that was module and you can build it and it would sort of do like the kitchen units used to do. Um, that's what we need, something we can design our own shape with. All ones that actually fit together nicely, just like those two I tried to put together. But where they overlap, you end up with like a glitchiness. It's a little annoying. Um, I also come from the frontier base where like Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo. And building wise, we have so much freedom on that game of how we build and what we use it for. Um, the only thing we don't have is the resizing, which actually would be really good in, in Planet Coaster because... Um, their size scale is off the chart. Everything is massive. Um, the Sims actually isn't too bad. A lot of it is good sizing. The lamps and a few of the wall lights and that are quite big. But overall, sizing very good. Um, this is where I decide I'm going to extend the upper floor. Again, I have lots of fun with that. Because I'm still not used to what you can do and what you can't do. And like, you remove that and then the ceiling comes back across the bit you don't want it to come back at and it took a bit of playing around with I am still getting used to the game after all uh, but eventually we get to where we want to I think I have to remember that you have to make it a room um, so like if I built sometimes if I build a room but don't make it a complete square it doesn't recognize it as a room and you don't end up with a ceiling you if you play the sims you know what I mean I'm babbling a little bit there. Um, so I am getting used to it slowly. I feel like these rooms really need to be sort of... Sort of lived in and cluttery. Like downstairs isn't too cluttery. I wanted it to feel like the family... Keep downstairs looking acceptable. So when people come round it doesn't look too messy. But upstairs is it's, it's their domain. They don't mind it looking a bit how they like it it doesn't have to look ultra modern and tidy um so with the adult the parents bedroom you'll see in a minute it actually does feel quite quite used and i like that fact because it is used people do live in this house uh, there we go we get rid of the ceiling again but we get rid of the floor at the same time this is the bit that frustrated me um i think i actually disappear in a minute and come back and i'm sure i fix it off screen it's just really frustrating how it works. Like, what? Again, we're going... And that's the only other thing I don't like about moving the rooms. You move the room, and obviously it takes the walls with it. I get that. But it does sort of leave you with 
no wall there then you just end up you have to rebuild it anyway so I suppose picking up the layout of the room might be better than actually picking up the room maybe I don't know uh, I'm not a game developer so I wouldn't have an idea of how any of that worked and this is the point I've discovered what I'm doing wrong and I have to make it into a room so that is exactly what I'm doing here um, I still can't figure out this one I don't think <laughs> delete the wall put the wall back delete the see there we go we got all rooms now so now when I delete that that's all one piece it should work perfectly fine it does it removes the stairs I must have put those stairs in about 10 times but we got there in the end so hopefully on the next build I would have got my head straight without the uh, they, they have to be they have to be recognized as a room of all because the issue was the corridor outside the bathroom was actually being recognized as the room of the bit I wanted to delete so every time I got rid of the floor in there it took the floor from there uh, we go for quite a modern glass railing here and I actually do change that because I think that's actually too plain and modern for the style build we've gotten because whoever whoever redeveloped this barn still kept into account that this is a barn if you look at the windows they still feel like they fit the original windows upstairs he's kept those original windows and just sanded them down it might not have been a he it might have been a she uh, the, on the only difference is he's added these massive chunks of modern windows that let in a lot of light because I think that's important in this style build is letting in a lot of natural light barns aren't exactly the most airiest buildings in the world here I just wanted to put some pillar columns in because I feel like it looked a bit too much like the upper floor was floating and the columns actually give a nice feel to the downstairs as well. So that's what we've done there. I'd imagine you probably didn't need columns if you used like massive girders or something. I don't know. Massive girders? Is that what they call them? Don't know. Um, but I just think the columns add that little bit of dimension downstairs. Uh, now I tried to put a ceiling all the way across here which I actually can't and since building this I figured I could have just put a room in deleted the walls and ceiling and it would have just left the floor right so that's one way of doing it I'm gonna say uh, but obviously you've got the and then put the roof on and that might have made sense there you go I'm learning all the time eventually I will get uh, a lot more used to the Sims 4 and not have any of these issues that's the point so we do actually just delete the ceiling around the um, corridor area. So you've only got ceilings on the bathroom, bedrooms, things like that. Uh, but then you'd have the roof above you. And do you know what I miss? I d <laughs> I'm going to say I miss it. I never actually used it that much in The Sims 3. But you used to be able to change the ceiling, didn't you? You could actually go into the room and you'd be able to see the ceiling and paint the ceiling. And sometimes I just have the urge to do that, even though I never had the urge to do it when I had it. It's like you don't know what you've got until it's gone. I think that's the thing. You, you miss it when you don't have it. Although I, the colour wheel is a stupid thing to get rid of. That was ideal. Um, some people don't like it, and I understand that. Each to their own. But personally, I think the colour wheel gave me as a builder so much freedom with the items in the game. So yes, we're just working on the bedroom here. Again, I'm going to say this all. I say this all the time. I want more pieces of furniture, but when is an, when when is enough enough? Is the, is the question? Am I always going to want more? And the, the answer is probably yes. You can give me as much as you like, and then I'm going to go. Yeah, but we could have this. Um, so I'm I'm getting used to the furniture I've got. I'm getting used to how we can change it, how we can um, merge them together with the move the move cheat I love the move it cheat comes in so handy you can really sort of get things close because how it places it on the grid normally sometimes there, there seems to be big gaps like the, the space between the bedside tables and the bed for example here that's quite a big space in my opinion you'd have the bedside table next to the bed right I might be wrong but in that's how we've always done it. You have the bedside table next to the bed, not a foot away. It's not a foot. I'm being ex I'm exaggerating there, but you see what I'm saying. It might be a foot actually, if you think of the size of the Sims. It's, it just seems a long way away from the bed, but that's because it's fitting it to that grid. Uh, you can go off grid with Alt, 
uh, which is a really nice tool. Um, but obviously it's still got the collision on so it depends how close you want to go. I enlarged this piece here and I want the family to feel a bit artsy. Like they, they like a bit of art, they like a bit of colour. Um, and I think it really feels like that outside on the hallway. We've got that big picture on the wall. That little seat with some colour in and then that giant um, sugar skull. What are they? Night of the Living Dead, is it? Or I don't know. Like it's a Mexican thing, isn't it? Um, I'm getting a bit off track, but that's really nice enlarging it. I'm I'm slowly getting used to enlarging. I I, I look at things and start using them and go, oh, I wish that was a little bit bigger. Or I wish it was a bit smaller. And then they go, oh, wait a minute, I can actually do that. And that's a really nice thing they've given us. I must say though, some of the things go from small to massive in one click, and I'm like, ah, I just want a size in between that like give me more control over how big like some things enlarge it step by step and it's really nice other things just go boom big uh here we're just building the living room i finally got around to it you did i skipped out on my favorite part of the build i'm so annoyed i did it off camera and that's the bit behind the living room here it's sort of with the little teddy bear chair and that and you've got a, a little stool they can sit on and there's two little chairs and you got a hamster cage and it just feels like a nice cozy snook where the family can spend time with the kid and the hamster and things like that. Um, I have discovered, I've never looked at the hamster cages before, we have hamsters, rats, hedgehogs and some very bizarre animal. Uh, that was an interesting choice to put into the game. Um, here I'm just going with a bit of a mixture of furniture really. I want it to feel like they've added bits over the years. Some of it's original from the original sort of design of the building. So um, some of it's old. And I really like this furniture. This set here, the ones I'm using, the chairs and the sofa, they feel quite 60s. So it's almost like they've been, been bought back. But I feel it goes with like the arty feel of the family. I might be completely wrong. This is just my way of thinking. I have to admit, I go for some quite bright curtains just to try and add some colour in there to go with by this point I decided they liked their colour this family so I go for some quite bright curtains and I'm not sure if the curtains ruin that massive window but I do think they, they would have some privacy there because the farmhouse is so close out to that direction uh, if you look at it there's just across the garden is the farmhouse and there's nothing in between really um, so I think the curtains are important and I think they work personally. Once we get the furniture in, I get to this point and I, I was going to go all sort of farmhouse sort of furniture around the table. But try and, that one would be ideal, but it doesn't come in the colour I want it to come in. If you look, it's, it's just the wrong wood colour. Again, if I had the ability to choose the wood colours, that would help. <laughs> I'm going to keep going back to it. So we actually go with this set of modern plastic chairs. And I think the mix of the two works. It's almost like they've got this old table and these old chairs that they had before because they were and their family sort of expanded and they moved into this bigger building and then they ended up buying these other chairs. Um, and just to give them enough seating, they kept the two original chairs from the old table and mixed it in with the new one. That's sort of the thinking behind it. Uh, we put a bit of boxes and plants by the front door I think so it's a bit arty it feels like they they like their plants I love plants I would have plants everywhere if I could I'm not the best at caring for plants I will admit but I really like the idea of having nature indoors lots of plants everywhere um, for example in the new eco pack they've got the vertical plant wall thing I love that idea I'm going to use that so much in my builds um, and those old radiators I've just put in, I really like those, like, you used to see those in old schools and um, village halls and things, you don't see them so much. And I really like them, I think they, they're, they're, and this is a barn, I can't imagine, I'd imagine it had modern, for, uh, modern heating put in it, maybe under floor heating. So this radiator is pointless, but I'm going to go with the fact they like their old bits and pieces and they don't care if they live in a really modern barn conversion. They're just going to put what they like in there and that is what that radiator is about. I'm just trying to decide whether I want a rug under the dining room table. Now I've seen this done a lot in 
Sims builds where they put rugs under dining room tables. And I find that really bizarre. Um, we've reached the end of the video. I'll explain in the next video why I find that bizarre. Here's the finishing shots. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. It really does help the channel. And until next time, I'll see you again.